Over the years of reading Watchtower literature, I have come across some remarkable statements. Uh, during this time, I have read some catastrophic contradictions, some mind-blowing manipulations. I've read some preposterous prophecies, some disturbing doctrines, and I've read some terrible twistings of Scripture. But of all these deceptive techniques, it's probably when the Watchtower told the truth <laughs> that I find the most amazing. What do I mean by that? Well, looking at the Watchtower's founder, Charles Taze Russell, he says something in the Watchtower, September 15th, 1910, that totally blew my mind. Furthermore, not only do we find that people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible by itself, but we see also that if anyone lays the scripture studies aside, even after he has used them, even after he has become familiar with them, after he has read them for 10 years, if he lays them aside and ignores them and goes to the Bible alone, though he has understood the Bible for 10 years, our experience shows that within two years, he goes into darkness. Friends, this is a remarkable statement. Charles Taze Russell is saying it doesn't matter if you've been a Jehovah's Witness for 10 years. You could be seasoned in Watchtower doctrine. You can know it back and front, forwards and backwards. If you step away from it and read nothing but the Bible in two years' time, it doesn't matter how seasoned you are, in two years' time, you will step away from what they believe. In other words, reading the Bible without Watchtower doctrine takes you away from Watchtower doctrine. That's incredible. Well, the Watchtower set up a couple of safety zones over the years just to help Jehovah's Witnesses never even think about reading the Bible without their help. Uh, some of those are found in the Watchtower, July 1st, 1965. Jehovah does not impart His Holy Spirit and an understanding and appreciation of His Word apart from His visible organization. Watchtower, October 1st, 1967. The Bible cannot be properly understood without Jehovah's visible organization in mind. Friends, these claims, do you see this? It's a way of control. It's a way of saying, don't even try to read the Bible apart from our influence. You need us to understand the Bible. In other words, it's how the Watchtower keeps their heavy hand on Jehovah's Witnesses and does not let them read the Bible for what it plainly says. It's, it's remarkable. So we have to ask ourselves, why? Why does the Watchtower want to control them so much by not letting them read the Bible? What, is, what are they afraid of, we'll say? Thankfully, the Watchtower answers this question for us. Watchtower, August 15th, 1981. They try to sow doubts and to separate unsuspecting ones from the bounteous table of spiritual food spread at the kingdom halls of Jehovah's Witnesses, where truly there is nothing lacking. They say that it is sufficient to read the Bible exclusively, either alone or in small groups at home, but strangely, through such Bible readings, they have reverted right back to apostate doctrines that commentaries by Christendom's clergy were teaching 100 years ago. Friends, this is a remarkable statement. The Watchtower is specifically saying here, if you step away from reading our doctrine, if you step away from the Watchtower, you will step away from what we teach. If you read nothing but the Bible, you will not embrace our ways. If you read nothing but the Bible, here's what's amazing, you will go to the Christian church. So, reading the Bible by itself, without the Watchtower's help, leads us away from the Watchtower. Reading the Bible by itself, without the Watchtower's help, leads us to the Christian church. Um, do we see what's going on here? Friends, 
if you've watched my videos over the years, you've probably realized that I don't go around calling Jehovah's Witnesses members of a cult. Uh, it rarely comes out of my mouth. I just, I just found that it's, it's not really fruitful. Um, and that's for several reasons. But the main one is when you call it Jehovah's Witness a cult member, um, at that point, typically their brains turn off. They get a glazed look in their eye, and from that point on in the conversation, they, they basically reject everything else you have to say. But after reading this information, I just can't help myself. If you are in an organization, in a religion, in a faith, in a doctrine that tells you what to believe the Bible says and tells you do not ever read the Bible apart from what we tell you it says, you're probably in a cult. We see the same things in the Mormons. We see the same things in the, in the Muslims. If a Mormon comes along and he decides he's going to read nothing but the Bible, he's not going to read the Book of Mormon, he's not going to read the Doctrine of Covenants, he's not going to read the Pearl of Great Place, he's just going to read nothing but the Bible, in a matter of time, he's going to step away from Joseph Smith doctrine and he's going to embrace the truth. The same can be said with the Muslims. If a Muslim would step away from the Quran, the Hadith, and, and all the other nonsense that uh, Muhammad made up and reads nothing but the Bible, it's going to be a matter of time. He's going to walk away from Islam and embrace the truth. The same is seen with the Jehovah's Witnesses. The watchtower has a heavy hand on them and says, do not read anything without our help. Friends, embrace the Bible for what it plainly says. Don't allow any organization, any religion, any one person, anyone to tell you what the Bible says. Read it for what it plainly says. Embrace it for what it plainly says. If the Bible tells you Jesus is God, that He should be worshipped, that, that Jesus is the only way to salvation, that He died on a cross for your salvation, accept that. Embrace that. Don't allow some organization, Watchtower, Mormon, Muslim, it doesn't matter. Don't allow anyone to tell you what the Bible says. Read it for what it plainly says. Pray this message bless you and helps you in your pursuit of truth.